Hi soccer fans, welcome to your Louisiana Fire soccer channel. My name is Steven Pice, coach at the club, and our special guests tonight are Mike Makovich, former first team head coach for Chicago Fire. We also have Brian Roberts, affiliate manager for Chicago Fire Juniors. We asked Brian to explain how their visit helps Louisiana Fire Juniors. Here's what Brian had to say. Yeah, well, I'm Stephen. I'm based in Chicago. I work out of the Toyota Park, where the first team train and practice on a weekly basis. So my job uh, is to uh, work with all 11 affiliates across the country. Uh, the Fire Juniors is one of the, the leading clubs in the MLS uh, to, to work with youth clubs. We have over 6,000 players across our network, over 400 teams in those 11 clubs. Five of those clubs are based in and around Chicago. Six of them are, are based nationwide. We have one in Louisiana, one in Florida, Kentucky, Indianapolis, and, uh, and, and Michigan as well. So um, on a day-to-day -day basis, I work with the DOCs and the club managers to, uh, to give them support in running their club. That's great, Brian. And uh, we also had uh, Coach Mike was here with us as well, and we have a little bit of video to show on, on how Mike was doing. But tell us a little bit about the, the whole purpose of you coming out this past weekend uh, this past week, really, with here and train our kids. So uh, the purpose of this trip, it was uh, it was an annual technical visit. So uh, every each one of our eleven affiliates get a technical visit, and that does exactly what it says on the tin. It's it's uh, we come in for two or three days to support the DOCs from a technical aspect. Uh, Mike Makovich is a former first team head coach of the Chicago Fire. He's also worked with Toronto and Chivas USA. Mike was also the head coach for the U18, U18 boys national team here in the States too. So Mike brings a, a wealth of knowledge and um, Mike's uh, reasons for here was threefold. Number one, player development. Number two, coach development. And number three, club development. throughout the practices use the the words casual players have more personality tell us a little bit about yeah about no that. well first we came in and part of the visit was to see the, the players within the club so we spent a little time training them and we had two training sessions each evening and it was good to get a little contact with the players um yeah i think it's just for me it's just it's good for them to hear a different a different voice i think you know maybe little different culturally from us than down here, just the you know, way life is different. So can't have players showing up being casual. You know, we gotta make sure that they're, they're tuned in and they're, they're working hard. So we just try to get some messages across them in the trainings. Great, we also have some, uh, some video we're also showing of the, of the kids as well. Tell me a little bit about the, the makeup of the kids that you saw. You saw some little ones, you saw some older ones, boys and girls. What did what did what did you think? Yeah, I thought. Look, I think you guys are doing a good job. You're heading. Obviously, you, you've done some great things on the field with winning state championships and regional titles, and even getting the nationals every year. So you're doing the right things. I thought the younger players. I was very impressed with them, not only from a, a, a technical aspect, but I thought you had some very good athletes and you know making them into good soccer players. Uh, the other thing that impressed me, I thought your players all could think and play. Um, you don't see a lot of that, so I think you're doing the right messages, and I thought it was very positive. The older kids are coming off the high school season. We, we did two groups each night, younger boys and girls, and then uh, we finished off the evening with the older boys and girls. And so coming off the high school, you know, a little bit different mentality, the first time together. So we just, you know, did, did a little playing, getting them back in. I think it takes a little bit to get them back in as a group playing together. And you could see a little bit the difference from the younger ones that are playing together versus the older ones that are coming off the high school season. So. Great. Well, I really want to thank you guys for coming by. Uh, you guys are welcome whenever you want. I know our, our staff was very happy to have you. Also, our kids were very happy, and I could tell they were a little bit nervous as well, too. I hadn't seen them that nervous in a, in a long time. Is there one or two things that the kids, that the players can continue to do 
throughout the rest of the season, throughout the rest of the year, in order to better themselves? Yeah, I think the one message we, we express to all the players, they, they need to get on the ball and play as much as they can. You know, they're only coming out once or twice a week for training and maybe three times, that's not enough. You know, they've got to find time where they're you know, doing homework each night and spending at least an hour with the ball or getting their friends and getting to the park because you got to play all the time. The best players are playing all the time and I think that was the one big message. We just need to get the players, you know, more technical for the whole club and I think that's just spending time with the ball and getting in trainings and asking to do extra stuff, so. That's a great time. We uh, That's a great time because we also do Friday night clinics here at the club and we also have summer soccer coming up too, so there's no excuses why players should just be going maybe to one or two practices a week. We have soccer pretty much year round here now. So thank you guys. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe to Louisiana Fire Junior's YouTube channel. We'd like to thank our sponsors Integrity Carpet, Ashner, Brian Chevrolet, First NBC, and also Coretta's Grill. Thank you sponsors. Season uh, home opener for Chicago Fire is on the 6th of March and uh, that game will be on TV so be sure to follow the first team. Uh, we've got a new head coach, a new uh, general manager and relatively a, a new squad as well so we're, we're pretty excited that we put, we're uh, putting some, some good product on the field. So watch out uh, this weekend for the home opener against New York, uh, New York City FC.